really fortunate when I decided to announce that I was running. I was also approached by this great group of other people who had similar ideals, the Rhode Island Political Cooperative. Um, I think that um, definitely gave me like the courage to not only like actually submit my paperwork, but also like announce, make my egg blue, and all those kind of things um, for donations. But it's also like having the comfort that you are not the only one who believes in these things. There is a growing group of people who are all moved by progressive ideals, who are willing to fight for 15, who are willing to work on common sense gun control, who are willing to make sure that healthcare is not just an option, but it is accessible to every single person in our state and in our country. Um, and a host of other things that are all on our website, for um, But those are all the things that it's moving the conversation towards. It's not about just like, I'm running as a Democrat, I'm running as like an affiliated, I'm running as a Republican. It's about these are all the things that I'm saying I believe in, and these are all the things that I'm going to work towards. And if we want to have an overwhelming majority of people and have this good legislation pass, like good legislation passes, when you have the right people in positions of power to make that change. And it's like being really fired up about that with a group of people who are all like kind of like storming in and saying, you haven't done it before. We're unwilling to wait until 2030 passes to move our Green New Deal benchmark. We can't wait for 2030 to pass in order to wait till 2050 or 2080 or until we no longer have a global environment. We're saying like right here now, the people who are running in 2020 are gonna make it possible so that we're having real change and like real progress on these issues that everyone's been fighting for for years and decades and there's been no movement.